what is going on guys got part two of the raspberry pi zero video here today now i do want to apologize for this being a little bit later than expected i did plan for this only to be one week apart from the part one video um it's ended up being three weeks simply because i've not had the time and the quiet space to record this i've now got it it's a saturday morning i do want to apologize if there's any background noise um, I'm set up right near the window here and I live on a main road so there's a lot of traffic so I want to apologise if the camera does pick up any of that and we'll get straight into this video. So this is the operating system you see when you first start up. I've got this linked to my Seagate NAS so there's my movies, there's my TV shows. I do have some add-ons but I don't want to focus on them. I just want to show it as... Um, playing local storage etc so we're going to jump into the settings as you can see this isn't your standard confluence skin it is the standard skin that comes with osmc as you can see there skin osmc you can if you want load in different skins um as you can see you can switch up to confluence if you wanted but this is the standard OSMC skin. Um, this operating system is free. Um, that's the first thing that I'd like people to take note. Is how much work Sam has put into this free operating system. Now I know these the likes of OpenELEC. Which people tend to prefer. But for me, personally, I can appreciate all the work that Sam has put in. Having used this from Alpha Stage to this now final release i can tell you now that a lot of work has gone into this to give this to you guys for free so i'm going to go straight into the movies and we're just going to go and play one we'll play the good dinosaur and we'll start it from the beginning i just want you to take note of how smooth this this operating system runs the picture quality ain't going to be great coming from the camera to the monitor because my monitor is not all that great anyway and passing it through the camera is just going to make it look even crappier but as you can see that started up fine no lag or buffer i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to skip 10 minutes as you can see no lag or hang or anything like that the movie and the audio have caught up with each other at the same time i'm going to skip one more time and again, caught up fine. We're now 20 minutes into the video. The, the audio is fine. The video is fine. And there's been no downfall of skipping. Now, I know a lot of um, these cheap Android boxes, which you would pay about the same price as what you're paying for this Pi Zero with all the accessories, would take two or three seconds to catch up with audio and picture. We've had none of that here. And again, I just want you to take note of how well this is skinned we've got some nice placement of album art some nice movie information and the media keys are also very nice so we're going to go ahead and stop this and i will indeed play another video we will just play some bad education movie as you can see loaded up just fine again no hang or buffer going to do the same and just skip 10 minutes audio's fine video's fine and i'll go ahead again and skip 10 minutes and we've got no issues there so we'll check out some tv shows now i'm going to actually go into my tv shows folder because no one wants to watch northern exposure <laughs> so i will go ahead and select the boondocks we will select um, a random one and again no problems navigating through the menus no problems um, getting the files to play I'll go ahead and skip now this is a much smaller file than a movie but again we're having no issues with these um, starting and stopping I'll just go through my, I'm sure I have some 1080p um, files here, 
I'm not too sure which ones they are though. Um, it may have been Game of Thrones. Let's just have a quick look through all the episodes until we find one. There's a 720. We'll go with 720. And there we go. Starting up just fine. Now, as you can see, there's a bit of difference in the picture there. We've got no issues. I'll go ahead and skip. No issues again. Um, I'm going to skip slowly instead of skipping 10 minutes. As you can see, it's fast forwarding just a little bit. And that again is just fine. So we've got no issues there either. That about covers everything for media playback with the Pi. In regards to how long it takes to scan in new, um, new TV shows added and stuff like that. It's not as quick as obviously my Nvidia Shield. But it's not slow to the point where there's a massive difference and I'm getting impatient waiting for it. Um, we'll go through the settings because I just want to show you just exactly how much effort has gone into this this as an operating system and I would encourage people to try it um, my OSMC as you can see it's got some nice art and some nice setup like stuff like the remotes now I am using the OSMC remote which you can buy from the OSMC store. I'm going to mention that next. But there's actually configs for all other remotes. Now, this remote is set up with um, a USB receiver, but is actually included. Let me just focus on that. There we go. Some of the key maps for different, more popular um, HTPC remotes. There's the remote that I'm using. There's some Philips in there. And just these are just standard remotes, what people tend to buy an IR receiver for and use for their HTPC. These didn't have to be included, guys. But this is what I'm saying about the amount of effort that gets put into this operating system. Look at the likes of OpenELEC. You have to sort all this stuff out yourself. These stuff have already been already added. So if you are an owner of one of these remotes, then the work's done for you. And you can switch from one to the other. Now, Sam does also, as, as well as this um, free operating system, he does have his own product that he takes great pride in. And it's called the Vero 2. I'm just going to get it up on the tablet here instead of me mucking up trying to remember everything about it. But this is what the product is. I'm going to scroll down. You can pre-order them on the website. It comes pre-loaded with this software, obviously. It supports apps, Android apps, and it also supports screen mirroring, Miracast. I'll scroll down here to the price which is £99. Let me just get that to focus, if it will. Yeah, there we go. Focused. And there's the tech specs for anyone who is interested in that. I know that HTPCs are very popular. I haven't tried this myself, but I would recommend it, simply because I know how much um, Sam's products mean to him. I know how much work has gone into the, his operating system as a whole and the same amount of work would have gone into his products. So, to wrap this up, I'm just going to give you my little opinion on the Pi Zero. I would recommend that any HTPC lover owns it simply because it's just so great, so small, so portable. For a beginner, I would recommend it. For someone who's looking for something to learn Kodi on. Um, a lot of people go for overkill for the first product. You don't need to do that. If you get a product like this and you make do with what you've got, you can learn how to get the most out of your device instead of just going for an overkill device. I know there's a lot of preloaded boxes out there and stuff like that. I would always recommend 
buying this Pi Zero or we're going on eBay and spending £50 on a Chinese product that's the seller has bought for like £19 in bulk and they're just going to cash in on you, you would be better off buying a product such as this. Comparison to the Raspberry Pi 2, obviously it's lower spec so it's not going to perform as well. Does it perform differently to the point where I would um, get rid of this and pick the Raspberry Pi 2? No, I wouldn't. Um, I'm only using a small size SD card. Um, nothing special in the, the specs of speed of the SD card, just a standard SD card. I think it may be a class 6 or class 10, one of the two, but it's a very old SD card in comparison to what you can get now. Um, I've not gone through any major expense to buy the accessories. The accessories come in handy for other things, not just for the Pi Zero, and it's very portable. I could load on um, 10 films onto an SD card or onto a USB hub, plug that in on the go when I know I've not got internet connection and you've got yourself a portable media centre. It's very small. I know some people put leave them out of a case and put them on the key rings, all sorts of good stuff like that. And you're also getting something you can switch operating system on if you choose. You could have three SD cards loaded with three different um, operating systems. You could have Raspberry MC, OpenELEC, OSMC and pick and choose as you go which day, different days, different operating systems and you can also use the Pi for many different projects as well if you're into tinkering and stuff like that. Um, that almost sums up the video. The last thing that I want to show you is if you can see to the right of the white USB hub I do in fact have a flerk plugged in. Now a flerk is an IR receiver and basically I'm just going to show you that I can use my Logitech Harmony with this as well just as well as the USB receiver. As you can see it works as standard all that you have to do is program your flerk to um, recognize your Harmony remote you do that through the My Logitech Harmony software that you would have got um, made aware of when you bought a Logitech Harmony and you would have used it to program all your other devices. Really simple, add a device, search for Flirk, it finds it straight away and adds in all of your um, Kodi options. I'm just going to scroll up and down through there so you can see that it is working perfectly fine just as responsive as a USB receiver and that sums up the video guys I will leave a link in the description to part one of the video for anyone who's not seen it and they'd like to know the products I'm using I will leave a link in the description also for this remote which I highly recommend for the price again you could go and buy a cheap shitty one from eBay which isn't going to be as good Personally, my favourite thing about this is the fact that it gives you a stop button and a context menu button. You also get an information button, which I love. A nice fast forward and rewind button, which you don't find often either. There is no keypad, so if you want to do searching, you'd have to use your um, direction keys. I will also leave a link down below for anyone who would be interested in the Vero. I just thought I'd add that to the video as a nice shout out for Sam, considering he's worked so hard to give everybody this free operating system. The best I could do is give him some credit for the for the products that he does take pride in. Thanks for watching, guys. I apologise for this being late again. Um, any questions that you'd like to know, anything else you'd like to see me cover on the Pi Zero, Maybe if you want to see me cover open your leg on it anyway, then I will if enough people ask for it. And that about wraps up the video. Cheers for watching, guys.